Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional creatures, but you've got to learn to discipline your emotions, discipline your thinking, staying focused on the goal and not allowing your feelings and unproductive thoughts to get in the way of your progress. If you don't discipline and control your emotions and thoughts, they will use you. Have you ever had a moment where it feels like everything's going against you? It feels like the weight of the world has fallen on your shoulders. You're thinking about quitting. You're thinking about giving up. It's hard. It's hard living your dream. It's hard changing your life. Once you've been knocked out by life, it's hard to pull yourself together and go back again. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to have a lot of failures. You're going to have a lot of struggles. You're going to feel dumb and ask questions and don't know what to do or where to go. You've got to know why you're out here because you're going to get your ass kicked by life. When the storms of life come and they're going to come, when life pounces on you and that's going to happen, when it catches you on the blind side and drops you to your knees and that's going to happen, when your plans don't work out, when you start running out of money, when you want to give up, your reasons will be your source of strength that will comfort you. Your reasons are the things that will help you get back up and try once again. That moment of extreme adversity is the best moment for audacity. It's the moment where you can flip everything and turn every trial you have right now into treasure. Sometimes you need to step back, meditate, and recharge. Sometimes you got to go away for a little while. Clear your head. View your situation from a different angle and try another approach. Don't ever claim that you're a failure. You're only ever a failure when you stop trying. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. As long as you're trying, you have another chance to win. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional creatures, but you've got to learn to discipline your emotions, discipline your thinking, staying focused on the goal, and not allowing your feelings and unproductive thoughts to get in the way of your progress. If you don't discipline and control your emotions and thoughts, they will use you. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities, your ideas, your vision, unquestionably. And when you get punched in the face by life and you feel broken inside, you got to be able to say to yourself, I've got to do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potential. And all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, when you feel that inner negative conversation saying, you can't do it, you got to shut that voice down. Tell it to shut up. Tell yourself, I can handle this. I can do this. I can get through this. I want you to stand up inside of yourself and demand that no matter how many failures I endure, I must keep going. No matter how many rejections I have to face, I must keep going. Regardless of the trials and tribulations that come against me, I must keep going. You get up every fucking day, you look in the mirror and you tell yourself, I'm a bad mother and one way or another, I'm going to make it fucking happen today. This challenge I'm facing, this pain I'm going through, this is a test. This is the day I'm going to find out if my goals really are my goals. You're going to get up, you're going to get dressed, you're going to get out, and you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you've been called to be. And you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. I'm going to show them all they're wrong because I'm the champion. I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. There will never be another like me. Champions aren't born. They're made through grit, sweat, and unwavering self-belief. It's not about luck. It's about relentless dedication to your craft. When you step out that door, it's not just another day. It is an opportunity to unleash your greatness upon the world. You're not here to settle for mediocrity or to follow the crowd. No, you're here to lead, to set the pace, to show the world what's possible when you refuse to accept anything less than your best. It's about digging deep and understanding 
that greatness resides within you. You've got to summon it, sometimes even with tears in your eyes, but under no circumstance can you throw in the towel or surrender. The enemy isn't out there. It's in your head, scheming to mess with your mind, to drown you in worries and stress and break your spirit. If you conquer it in your head, you'll conquer it everywhere else. So cry it out if you must, rest it out if you must, take a break if you must, regroup, replan, but never let that fiery belief within you extinguish. It doesn't matter how long it takes or what you have to endure along the way. You're coming out of this mess and you're coming out stronger, wiser, and more determined than ever before. I've been through the depths of despair, hit rock bottom, and felt the sting of defeat. But guess what? I still believe I'm coming out on top. And you should too. Because that unwavering belief, that unbreakable spirit, is what sets champions apart. So keep pushing, keep fighting, and keep believing. Because there's no force in this world that can stand against the power of the determined human spirit. You can delay it, but you cannot destroy it. And as long as you keep moving forward, as long as you can muster enough strength to hold on and hold out, you will see yourself become victorious. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't going to make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, who are they? When they tell you you're not going to make it, don't believe them, man. You got to be relentless. If I can take it, I can make it. The real challenge of growth comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what, you don't give up. A person that gets up off the canvas and keeps growing, that's the person that will continue to grow their influence. You want to be persistent about what it is that you want to achieve. Alexander Graham Bell said, what this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and is fully determined not to quit until they find it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. Yes, you have a dream, and the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, if you feel like you're under heat, if you feel like you're being pressured, welcome to the big leagues. When God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom! <laughs> the power of to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, the hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness because they're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty. Don't get caught up in, well, I tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. When you're hungry, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. I'm going to do it until. Once you find those things that will make it worth it for you, it is done. You know people. You've seen people that you can predict early on. That person is going to be a diamond. You know it. How they carry themselves, how they take care of business, how do they follow through, how they keep their commitments to their commitment, how they work the system, their energy level, their passion. You know it, the mark is on them. You know it. 
had one who scored a naked. And people must see that in you. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. People were opposing it, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level, you know, and nothing, tell me now, I'm on the move. I'm on the move. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. Use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test